been informed that I look like a person by the name of Suki Waterhouse. So she was obviously the inspiration for today's look. I will admit though that I live under a rock. And every time that people tell me that I look like somebody, I usually have to look it up. And this time around I was not mad about it, but I think that people need to learn some common decency. Because in my eyes, if you tell somebody that they look like a person, the person that you're liking them to should be at least 10 times more attractive than they are. That's just common decency in my eyes. When I looked up Suki Waterhouse, her makeup seemed to lean more to the natural side. So that's the vibe that I'm going for. I did see the look that she had for the Met Gala. I absolutely love that as well. So let me know if you want me to try it. I noticed that her cheekbones are quite chiseled and mine are not. So cool tone contour stick is really the way to go to achieve that look. And then blend it with your fingers and really give it a skin-like finish. And then the tiniest bit of a warm tone bronzer just to tie it all together. And a little bit of that on the nose as well. Just a touch of blush. For the brows, I'm just going to slightly fill them in and then fix them with an eyebrow gel. For the eyes, I'm going to darken them up just a tiny bit. And this just adds a bit of dimension to them. I'm gonna go a bit darker, I think. Just focus that in the outer corner. And then to soften it up, just a tiny bit of pink. And I'm focusing that more in the middle of and the inner corner of my eye. To darken up the lash line, just put a tiny bit of eyeliner and then smudge it with your finger. That's a mascara to finish off the eyes. For the lips, I'm just gonna keep it quite natural, so a lip tint it is. And this is the finished look. I honestly think I did pretty well. Could we be twins? Maybe not, but cousins? I'd buy that. But let me know what you think.